Okay, this fifth problem, or I guess it's the sixth problem down the list, says find all real constants C such that C times 1, 1, 1 minus 1 is unitary. So go ahead and pause the video and see how you can do with this. All right, well, in order to do this problem, of course, you're going to need the definition of unitary. So let's go ahead and get that. Definition of unitary is right here. And I'll make it a little bigger. Okay, let's blow it up a little bit. All right, now the adjoint of a matrix is the complex, the transpose of the conjugate. And a matrix is unitary if its adjoint times itself is the identity. In other words, its adjoint is the same as its inverse. So let's pull this apart. First of all, to solve this problem, we're going to have to get the adjoint of this matrix A. So let me just call this A here. All right. So we're going to definitely have to evaluate the adjoint. So A star is equal to the complex conjugate of A transposed. Right now, what's the complex conjugate of A? Well, the complex conjugate of a real number is just that real number. So you have kind of an easy problem here. Since C is real and these numbers are real, the complex conjugate of A is the same thing as A. Now what about A transpose? Well, we've got another easy problem here because A is symmetric. If you transpose it, it looks the same. So that's also equal to A. So A star is actually equal to A in this case, and we have C, 1, 1, 1, minus 1. Okay. All right. So all we need to do now is check that A star A is equal to the identity. In this case, that means A squared is equal to the identity. So we, A star A is equal to the identity. That's the same thing as saying C times 1, 1, 1, minus 1 times c times 1, 1, 1 minus 1 is equal to the identity 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. Now let's put the brackets here. All right, so how can we make this happen? Well, let's do out the multiplication. When you have a matrix times a scalar, you can pull all the scalars out to the front. So that's the same thing as c squared times 1, 1, 1, minus 1, times 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, equals 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. And let's just do out this multiplication. The c squared stays there. Here, the, if I do this first row times first column, I'm going to get 2. First row times second column, I'm going to get 0. Second column times second row times first column is 0. Second row times second column is 2. And that's equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, how can you make this happen? Well, you have to make c squared to be 1 half. That's the only way to make this happen. If c squared is 1 half, it multiplies these two and takes them down to 1. So c squared equals 1 half. And that means that c is equal to plus or minus 1 over square root of 2. So those are the answers. Now, just to be complete here, in fact, all of these implies here, I would say, are if and only ifs. So uh, it goes backwards. C equals plus or minus 1 over square root of 2 is, are the only real solutions that make the C times the matrix A to be unitary. All right? So that's it.